Hello, everybody. It's a city Matt Haven here. I, I've been having a really good night kicking around, messing around. I played with Slap most of the day. I played with Clone Guy early in the morning. We have a little bit of a community Discord thing going on. We're finally all getting together. And it made me think of something. I was capable of seeing a couple of um, recordings of people from uh, years ago, seven, six years ago, like uh, during the time that Xbox is capable of, you know, capturing screenshots and recording. And I gotta say, World of Tanks has come a long way in the past nine years on console. And for me, I I'm I'm at the point where it's like. I like this game. I like World of Tanks. I enjoy it a lot. Um, I found out today that Gundam Evolution servers were shut down a few months ago, and I wanted to get back on and play it again, but unfortunately, it doesn't exist anymore. Um, same thing about Elite Dangerous. I, I'm a big Elite Dangerous player. I have uh, 100 days of gameplay in Elite Dangerous on console, and they stopped supporting it, so... There's that, and then there's all these other games that no longer exist, that we enjoyed uh, as kids, or games that we thought were really fun at a certain time, or games that you, you probably thought as a teenager were really cool that no longer exist. But you see, World of Tanks... World of Tanks modern armor, even if it is modern armor, even if artillery has this obsessive amount of fire rate, this uh, ridiculous amount of damage, and just everything else that kicks in, we still have somewhere that we can come back to. And it it's awesome to make new friends. It's awesome to jump on and have a couple of matches with people and just really enjoy some gameplay. There's one match I wish I had I had a, I had um recorded because it I made a friend tonight. And you know what making friends in this game is really really cool. And you know then you think about the past and it gets stuck. Because the past was cool, but the future there's so much more that we can do in the future. You can call me sentimental all all you want, but that's just how I'm built. Okay, I'm going to get stuck, and guess what? I'm going to have memories that I'm going to remember 20 years from now, even if it's just a single frame of a memory. And I'm going to smile at it, because it was so good. Anyways, enough about jumping into that load of crap. I actually have um, a, a replay for you guys tonight. Uh, well, not tonight. That The day that you're catching this, that I'm... Uh, gonna be showing off i i want to talk about premium penetration basically everything that goes on and it just how things are in the game my question is for you what makes a super unicum like is it the the way that they play how aggressive they are the fact that they're they're probably pulling around a corner going like 90 and they're running all the accuracy perks to land a single shot across the map or is it the people who know how to use their armor? You know, it, there's there's people that are going to specialize in different things in this game because you put a lot of practice into it. And for me, the, uh, I guess, 200 to 300 days of experience of in-game time that I have inside this game, uh, going all the way back to beta, I, I have photos of me sitting in front of a big fat box TV. If, if anyone remembers old box TVs and you remember how getting those upstairs were just the worst thing to ever move because they weighed like 180 pounds. You know, you get that big old, big fat box, 40 inch, 38 inch TV. And yeah, then you just struggle with it because you, you, you got to do a, you, you're, you're waddling like a Oompa Loompa trying to get up the stairs, you know, and then you're playing your tier eights. And the first thing that hits you is a heat round from a tier 10. And uh, you think to yourself, I'm in a tier 8. Why'd you shoot me with that? Oh, well. Uh, I'm totally fine with it. Now, I laugh at my VK because this is a tank that a lot of people diss on. A lot of people talk about this tank and say, oh, it's got the worst standard pin in the game at 200 pin. Um, but we have the Skoda, uh, the TNH 105, 1000. We have the Progetto 54. 
We have a pretty good amount of heavy tanks that sport 242 standard pin now. Well, not standard, but premium pin. And it's becoming kind of a common occurrence that we're having these lower penetration tanks come inside the game. And in all reality, it's like we just got to know where to aim and know how to angle our armor. Maybe use our hit points, get proper equipment. You know, because some tanks, it's like I, I hear everyone talk about vertical stabilizer this, vertical stabilizer that. Like you always need vertical stabilizer. Uh, right there, from a little bit of knowledge about the 279E, I knew exactly where to fire to hit his ammo rack to pop his top. Because I've gone against it a lot in the past couple of years. I mean, it's been in the game for, what, three years now? And it's pretty simple to penetrate if you know where you're aiming. Okay, the Progetto 54 has 220 standard pin, 242 premium penetration. So there's another tank that can be considered to have the worst penetration in game. Yet, you don't hear anyone talk about that one. Everyone talks about this one with its AP at 200 millimeters. So for me and my VK, I had someone challenge me um, about a year ago saying that if, if I could three mark the VK 4502A with only standards... You know, like that, I can't remember what it was that he said it would be, but he said that that would be cool. And I started to play this tank and I realized just how good this tank actually is. And it saddens me to see that people talk badly on it. I mean, your reverse speed is probably one of the most comfortable reverse speeds I've ever had on a tank. Um, the power to weight, the armor design, it's basically a Kree of Vets, but just flatter. But you're capable of working corners without much of a problem. You know, you're going 38 forwards with a reverse speed of 16. A power to weight of 14.7, and on a heavy tank, that's not bad power to weight. That's actually pretty decent power to weight. Now, I do believe this is a bot. There were two of them in the match. But I gotta say, this bot had an idea. He came all the way around the backside. And what made me think this is a bot, because I never actually looked, is watch the gun. L look at the turret. It, I, it just, that's a bot. I hate bots. Rosserante. So far, all the damage I've done this game, have I even shot a tier 8? I've shot in the, the T10, the bot. I shot the bot. Uh, just because it's the bot. He was shooting at me and I thought he was a player first. But 303 into the side of the Rosserante. Just look at the gun handling on the move inside this tank. This tank blows me away on how powerful it is. The rate of fire, the, without a gun rammer, keep in mind, this is um, vertical stabilizer, optics, and ventilation uh, on this tank. And here we go. We're going to be using my armor. Protect my tank. Protect my buddy. Keep that T-62A alive as long as I can. It's two, it's two of us versus uh, two of them. So keeping him up is a big deal. There we go. Scorpion G. And I'm seeing shells flying from back, so I want to slow down. I pull forward. I block a shell from the Rosserante for the T-62. But unfortunately, T-49 gets his hands on him. Now, starting to slam the gas and move up on in slowly. As I realize my garage audio is still inside this game. Because, yeah, things happen. Loading the high explosive. Pop in the corner. Taking a single shot, but the thing is, I took that shot because I knew that T-44 was trying to maneuver and relocate. And currently, I'm in a position where, do I want to try and take a shot? Do I want to bait a shot? Or do I want to wait? And there came in the artillery shell from the ally team. Just because I don't want to pop out again, I don't want to risk taking another hit. This is something that you just want to take a little bit slow. And MVP, 3,700 damage dealt. Um, 58,000 silver made mastery badge. I've had my three marks of excellence on this for a long time. It's a, honestly really fun, really fun tank. I do believe I started to show off the, um, advanced board for the efficiency inside this. Show it off. There we go. Two, six, eight, four, five, two penetration. Scorpion was one penetration. Two, seven, nine, was two penetrations. Uh, ammo rack focus, three penetrations. Uh, one, ten was two. No, three. And 4043 was one with a high explosive. So, I've pretty much hit a point on this tank where I'm just going to say it. The VK4502A 
in my opinion, is one of the best tier 8s with extremely good gun handling. And? I think it's awesome. It, this tanked 9 years ago, and this is where this all started. Whenever I first grind out the VK, I did not enjoy this tank. I actually free XP'd past it just because of how much I did not enjoy it. But ever since the buff of this, it, it's made me think back, like, the first time I played it, the first time I grinded it. This is, like, I believe my ninth tier 8 in the game, and I, it was horrible. But it was fast. It was decent speed. Uh, there was a couple other tanks out there that were a little bit faster. You know, like, you, you'd play your Tiger 2, and your Tiger 2 was superior in so many ways. Even to this point, I, I will actually say Tiger 2 is probably still superior to the VK4502A until you see this. Reload. 7.74 without a gun rammer. Tiger 2. Let's put a commander inside my Tiger 2. We're going to put the same crew. 7.1 second reload with a gun rammer. So between that, their reloads are both under 8 seconds. But whenever it comes down to it, the VK4502A is always going to be sporting better gun handling across the board, even if they both had vertical stabilizers equipped. Anyways, you guys, I hope you have a great day, afternoon, night, whatever time it is that you guys are catching this. And thank you for watching. Honestly, I don't ask people to subscribe. I don't ask you to follow. Um, I ask you guys just to, to be nice and caring. You know, kick back. Enjoy New Year's that's coming up. I, I know I am. Um, I have uh, replays ready for the old reliable. I've actually been ready to make con uh, the video on that now for about three days, but I just haven't done it yet. It's not going to be a review of the tank. I'm actually going to be linking my Cobra review uh, into the title of it whenever I do the old, re old reliable cover. And I just want to ask, do you guys want to see daily content from me? Or you know, would you prefer it every single three days? Or what would it be? Just let me know down in the comment section. Other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, the VK4502A, it's all about that gold rush that you never fire out of the tank. Till next time, catch you later.